Joined here with Chris after a 3-2 victory. Certainly made it hard for ourselves though, didn't we? Yeah, tell me about it. In the first half, we were just superb. I mean, it's probably the best I've played in a senior season. And, you know, Alex Neal's had a massive effect on the on the players, obviously. I mean, the confidence, the drive, the passion, chasing the ball down, not giving up. And we looked all round very organised and solid. Unfortunately, in the second half, though, it was a bit of a slog and we got there eventually, but who cares? Three points is in the bag. You're losing your voice, I'm losing my voice. Yeah. Is that because of the referee and that? Because the whole stadium erupted yeah. when he gave that penalty. I mean, to be fair, for Cardiff City's point of view as well, it wasn't just our penalty. There was loads of other decisions where I was thinking, oh, blimey, that's probably a decision for them and the ref wasn't giving it. He was all round shocking today for both sides. But yeah, I've never given a, a ref so much of abuse in my, in my life, to be honest with you. <laughs> he got a lot of tongue from me today. Apologies. <laughs> the, the back five today, Ruddy in particular, Olsen as well, they were quite at fault. They were quite lacklustre, I thought. Sure. Neil wasn't sure. having it as well. What did you yeah. make of that? Well, well, until the penalty, I thought Ruddy was awful. And I mean, I've stuck by Ruddy throughout all of the abuse. I've said, you know, fantastic. But his kicking was very off today. Um, but, you know, it, what a save for that penalty. I mean, Whittingham, he doesn't miss a lot. He's very much like Mark Noble for West Ham. Takes every penalty. It normally scores every penalty as well. Obviously, Ruddy's done his research well and made the save. I, to be honest with you, I've, I've not rated Olsen all season. I don't think he's been up to speed. And, um, you know, might sound like I'm starting a rumour, but I do think he's already thinking about a January move away from the football club. Yeah, it, it's been linked with Swansea, hasn't he? Yeah. But the midfield, I thought, today wasn't too good. O'Neill and Johnson in the central midfield. We haven't got many central midfielders, granted. What did you make of, say, the attacking lineup? Um, I thought the lineup was fantastic. I mean, I thought that the best thing about the lineup today was Lafferty. Really refreshing to see him in the side. Um, you know, I say again, you know, his his passion, his drive, and he, and he always runs at players, and that's the difference. For far too long this season, we've we've tried running around the team and creating the perfect goal. When actually, we need to run at the players, get a foul, and you know, anything like that. And Lafferty does that very well. Um, strong, pacey, very good. I think. To be fair, I disagree with you. I think Gary O'Neill did a very good job today. Um, he does control the game very well. Um, Wes came on late and did a very good job, um, albeit we didn't give the ball to him a lot. Um, Bradley did all right today, but as you say, we're missing Housen and Tetti, who are, for me, probably our, our key players. Yeah. Uh, Lafferty got his first goal for the club today. That's got to be a massive confidence boost yeah. for him. You I mean, he works so hard for the yeah. team, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, and that is it. We're, you know, what I've really noticed today about what Alex Neal's done for the team is He's made sure that every single player knows what they're doing and they've really, really worked hard. They've not given up. Um, even the subs that are coming on, quite often we'll just kind of sit back and be hit by cars. Um, yeah. no, no, no. You know, they, they, they're running at players all the time. They're chasing the ball down and that's what it's all about. Yeah, Jerome, of course, getting on the score sheet again as Hooper as well. It, it goes without saying that they've been instrumental. Yeah, yeah we, we've got the best strike force in the league. I don't care about any of the abuse I get for saying that. We have got the best strike force in the league and, you know, the more games that those two play together, the better we're going to get. They're strong, they're powerful, they can head the ball, they're very comfortable as well, quick feet. And with the likes of Redmond and Lafferty on the wing, teeing them up, it's very good. And look, looking at our next games, I mean, I have kind of said to a lot of people, you know, calm down, let's not go, wow, Alex Neil, he's the saviour. But looking at the next, I think, kind of three or four games, very winnable games.